Hey, Five Fan here again with Cody Connell, a professional Cody Connell. Um, such a short fight tonight, not much to talk about, but go ahead and tell us real quick. Well, that was pretty quick. Uh, I caught him in that north south. Um, he, was, he was good. I, I caught that double. He gave me his legs right off the bat. And I, I could tell he wanted a bomb. Yeah. You know, kind of plan up, get a good base, and just throw bombs. And he gave me a double leg, so I took it. And, and he slammed him. Yeah, pretty hard. Pretty good slam. And he uh, had you in a guillotine. Some people thought yeah, it was tight. I, I passed, couldn't tell. I mean, once you pass those legs, that guillotine doesn't... I mean, you can wear your arm out if you want, squeeze on it all, yeah. you know, a couple minutes. But eventually, I'm going to get my head free and, and punish you. But he kept on, and that's actually kind of what got him finished, was he kept on to that guillotine and side control, and I crept around and caught that north-south choke. Yeah. And... Uh, he was kind of in a weird spot against the cage. He kind of walked his legs up to give himself a little bit more room, but I could tell it was tight and didn't want to gas my arms out on it, you know. Yeah. But made sure I kind of stuck with it. And right. Got the tap, so. um, biggest guy you've fought so far and the heaviest guy you've fought so far, um, but we know you don't really like 165. Yeah. Shane Johnson was a beast, too, man. He was a big 55er, man. But, uh, yeah, this guy, I mean, I, don't, I won't be fighting at 65. It's not a plan. You know, I'm not a planned thing. And, and kind of just Steve gave me an offer, and, um, you know, I was like, right. you know, why not? I'll take yeah. it, you know. It was a little easier not cutting all the weight. I got to keep a little bit of it on. You know, it's kind of nice. But yeah. uh, I would go back to 50 plus for sure. You're off to Costa Rica next. Yes, sir. Yes, Can you tell sir, us about yeah. that? Um, just jetting down to Costa Rica, going to head south, and, kayak a little bit down there, check out some rivers. I'll be down there for a month, do some training. Uh, they wanted me to fight, they wanted me to fight Panama City, and uh, I would drive down there. I just don't quite have the balls to drive my girlfriend down there. It's oh. pretty, it's pretty rowdy, but it's, uh, you know, if, you know, if it works out and we can um, hit a flight real quick, I'll go fight for him, but we'll see. That's kind of up in the air, but I'll definitely get some good training in San Jose. In the capital there when I'm in Costa Rica. Nice. And you'll be back when? I'll be back in February, first part of February. Yeah. That flight comes in like the second. Actually. Right on. So uh, you know, even though your fight was how many seconds first round submission, um, we always assume you're improving. But have you um, stepped up your game a little bit? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been improving, uh, you know, as much as I can, just working on different stuff. And Chad Robichaud is actually the guy that master that north south choke yeah. with me and he's been catching it his last fight with uh, world series of fighting he caught it put the guy out with it in the same spot the guy's legs were up against the cage, cage. put him out with it and uh you know it's kind of nice to, to see things like that that you work that you finally catch in the cage things that you haven't caught before like i haven't caught that in a submission tournament or anything yet you know i've caught arm bars triangles but not that one yet so right it's good yeah we're always trying to improve uh I've been, uh, you know, training with my crew, uh, Bryce Thorstad, Ben Han, uh, Mackenzie Rockmore. Uh, been trying to get up and hit Pariah. I think when I get back, I'll make a, I'm going to talk to the head coach up there, Drew Lawrence, and, and see if I can't make that switch up there full time. And I think that, you know, once you get in that room and you start seeing all those genetics, you know, and you're going with a, a guy that was an Olympian and you're going with the guy the next time, you know, with just crazy jits. Yeah. So you go from that. Greco wrestling to jiu-jitsu to back to a striker and just get a full room of genetics and I really like the way they run things and I had a couple of teammates get sick so I went up there to train and it, it was just a really good thing and I hadn't been I hadn't been up there in a while and it kind of opened my eyes up to some stuff that I needed to work on and and uh, some things that I know I can get better at so I'll definitely keep it up with the guys back at home but I definitely like to make them move up to pride also right on. So, so get in touch with us when you get back from Costa Rica, and we'll be following you. We're going to be fighting next. Thanks, man. All right, cousin. Yeah.